let's talk about the 2023 WWE draft. Um, as far as who we see going where, Roman Reigns, I'll pencil him down for SmackDown. Is that what we're thinking? Easily. All right. So who then? Who's the pick for? Uh, who's the number one pick for Raw? I would say Cody. Should I write down Cody Rhodes or? I, I think it's Cody. Why? Why? Let's, what would you say? Let's let's do a draft of what we think should happen. No, because you think he should go to SmackDown, which he shouldn't. He, you okay? So now you're saying he shouldn't. He should stay on Raw. He's not being Roman. <laughs> you uh, do you not want him to be Roman, or do you think he I shouldn't be Roman? I, I'm more convinced the days go by that he's not being Roman. All right. I still don't think you have to be on the same show. I mean, I feel like they could do something that they get him to face Roman. Well, I mean, he can win the Rumble again next year and face yep. him at WrestleMania. And lose again, and then you can cry again. Oh my God. Imagine we lost two years in a row. <laughs> we'll move on. Yeah, I think Cody's going to some Raw. Okay, I'll say this. I'm going to put Cody down for Raw, but I think if he goes to SmackDown, which is what I want, I think you could swap him and Drew. If According to you, I think him and Drew are kind of on equal footing. Obviously, he's a bigger star than Drew at this point. Drew's not even around right now. I'm not even sure what his status is. Um, but I think if Drew sticks around, which I think he is, I think he and Cody are kind of interchangeable. So I'm going to put Drew down for SmackDown, but I would, I'm going to also put like slash Cody and say that I would want Drew on Raw fighting for the other title because he's not beating Roman and he shouldn't. So is that fair to say? I think you could put Drew on Raw anyways. So let me get this straight. You want Cody, Drew, and I'm going to put Seth Rollins down. You want Cody, Seth, and Drew on the same show? That's like the three biggest baby faces in the company. Who the fuck is Roman going to face? We're figuring it out. <laughs> We're figuring it out right now. Yeah, I know. We're figuring it out right now. Oh, my God. So you want Cody, Drew, and... Oh, my God. So, okay, then who goes to SmackDown? Who's the top baby face on SmackDown, according to you? Give me a second. Bro. Braun Breaker. <laughs> Honestly, it was up to me, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the guy just uh, turned heel, so... L- l- take a take a little peek sees at the roster. Yeah, give me a little mean... peeky boop. I mean... <laughs> uh... Kid hates SmackDown. What do you think, Fox oh. is just paying for Roman? <laughs> Honestly, at this rate, yeah. I mean, you can put Rhea on... So just, put, just pencil Rhea down on SmackDown. So well, yeah, we know there. that, yeah. Well, So would you put the entire Judgment Day or just Rhea? I would go entire Judgment Day. I would do at least Rhea and Dominic. You wouldn't put Finn and Damien on the same show? Mm, I guess you could. I don't know. I feel like she's... I think Judgment Day's still a great act. I think you could still okay. keep it together. Okay, you can pencil them in. All right, I'll put Balor. Screaming at me over here. <laughs> and uh, Damien, all right. I mean, who's facing Roman at SummerSlam? I guess at that point... Cody. That's who... <laughs> so that's who the number one babyface would be. Honestly, just put Jey Uso on Smith on them. Well, the Usos are... So the Bloodline's sticking together, correct? So we we clumping them all together then. So you just do Roman and Bloodline on SmackDown. All right. Damien, Usos... You just put Judgment Day on SmackDown. Judgment Day and the Bloodline are on SmackDown. And you can... I mean, not that they're going to, because they already forgot about it, but you can pay off the whole Judgment Day Bloodline thing from last week, too. There you go. All right. So Bianca staying on Raw, obviously. Yep. Um, I think... Okay, let, let's let's figure this out. You you think Rollins should stay on Raw with Drew and Cody? If you yeah. really if you really want Cody on the opposite show of Roman, which I don't agree with, I think you should put Rollins on SmackDown with Becky. Becky and Rollins have to go to the same show. I mean, why would you want all three of those baby faces on the same show with no top face on SmackDown? You got you have to you have to pick one to put on SmackDown. They can't all be okay, on Raw. Then put Seth on SmackDown. Then. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to put Seth and Becky as a unit because they're going to both go to SmackDown. Obviously, yeah. Let's see. Um, You said Rollins and you said Lynch. All right, let's get some people on Raw here. Who? What What mid-card title does Raw get? Gunther or Theory? I think Gunther and Imperium should go to Raw. All of Imperium. Okay. All right. So then Theory is going to SmackDown with the U.S. title or is there a championship yeah. at Change at Backlash? I would put the belt on Bronson. I don't. Think, I think Theory retains, but I would put the belt on Bronson personally. I mean, I love how you're putting like <laughs> Roman, the Judgment Day, Theory's probably on SmackDown. It's heel heavy, brother. Yeah, but honestly, I feel like uh, da, 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 I'm trying to think. 
Honestly, I think Theory could be like a dark dark horse to win the World Heavyweight, honestly. On Raw. So Theory's on Raw, so you, you want to yeah, keep... Yeah, put Theory on Raw, yeah. Put, yeah, put Theory on Raw. So then, who wins the U.S. title and takes it to SmackDown? Bobby or Bronson? Bronson, I guess. All right. Or, honestly, no, Bobby, because he's a fucking baby. Uh, Bronson, Bronson, Bronson. Bronson. I feel like they're pushing Bronson, so it'd make more sense for him to have it. Oh, listen, Bobby's another big baby face. Would you put him on SmackDown, too, to join Rollins? If you got Cody and Drew on Raw, I think if you put Bobby yeah, on SmackDown... Bobby, put Bobby on SmackDown. And maybe you could do Bobby and Rowan at some point, eh? Eh? Sure. All right, let's 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 figure out Raw here. We got all of Imperium. We got Cody, Drew, Bianca, Imperium. I already said that theory. Who else is going to Raw? Um, I mean, what, does Zayn and Owens count as both shows? No. Nah, well, I mean, they, they, well, they have to when they lose the title, they'll go to one show. I think they should stay on Raw together. Zayn's on SmackDown currently, but I'd put them both on Raw. How about that. Sure. Okay. Owens, Zayn. Now another thing, Bianca's going to Raw, which means Montez goes with her. But would you split up the profits this year? Because I would say yes. Or do you keep them as a team and then still do single stuff or have them feud, which I don't like, but that's just me. I would keep them together, but I would. I would I would like let them do some single stuff. More. Okay, so profits on on Raw, um, New Day. Would you keep them together? And and if not, would you break? I mean, I think they're staying as a team. I don't know. I would break them up, but I mean, that's just me. At this point, I'd break them up. I mean, I feel like I've I've seen them so like I'm so over them, but I'll say SmackDown for both or one. I just keep them all together, Smith. I don't think they're gonna break them up, so I just put Smith out for them. All right. I mean, I want them to break up. I'm so tired of it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Let's work at the poor timers. Brock and Edge. I would not put them on the same show. They technically are right now. I think both Brock and Edge. Are, I mean, Brock's actually a free agent. I think. I think. I don't think he actually even really counts. But um, where would you put them? I'd put Edge on Raw. Edge on Raw. I would put honestly. I would put. I know. Oh, Brock and Roman, but they can't face each other anyway. I would. <laughs> I would put Brock on SmackDown. Okay, put Brock on SmackDown, then. So then where does that leave the third part-timer, Logan Paul? Logan Paul... I would keep him on Raw. If you're going to put Cody on Raw with Drew, I think those are two people Logan hasn't faced yet. Okay. All right, Logan Paul to Raw. And Edge. Edge is another possibility. Um, What are we doing with the injured AJ Styles? And the OC, I guess. (laughs) Oh, and OC, AJ and OC. I'd put him on SmackDown. I'd put him on SmackDown, too. Okay. I'd do Roman and AJ at some point. Um, who do we have left? That's a bigger star. Oh, uh, Rey Mysterio. I would I would keep him on SmackDown with the rest of Judgment Day. And... No, I'd just split them up. I'm so tired of that. Okay, so Ray going to Raw, then, if Judgment Day's on SmackDown? Is Ray with the LWO, or are we count them all separate? Um, I would keep all of the LWO together and put them on SmackDown. But, I mean, you can have them booked separately. You can split them up. I just think, uh, listen, I know you're tired of the Ray and Dominic thing, but you don't have to have them feuding if they're on the same show. I think, they, first of all, they have to finish the Ray and Dominic feud. They haven't actually really finished it. Second of all, I think this whole LWO thing can lead to, in my opinion, Escobar turning on Ray at some point down the road. So I would keep them all on the same show personally. Okay, so where do you want to put them then? SmackDown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fox paying for everyone. <laughs> so then on Raw, um, let's see. Matt Riddle? What about Matt Riddle? I mean, I guess I would put him on Raw in that case if SmackDown's paying for a lot of these people. Yeah, I'd put Riddle on Raw. All right. What about Randy Orton when he comes back? Raw. Raw as well. That's what I thought. Um, you mentioned Bianca and we mentioned Lynch. What about Bailey? I we got to break up damage control, so where are we Bailey splitting them up to? Stay on Raw. Bailey stays on Raw, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. SmackDown. Who? EO. EO, all right. On her own. So what, Dakota stays on Raw too, or does she move to SmackDown as well? Uh, F-I-R-E-D, I mean SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I love her to death, but I just don't see her doing much on her own. No, nah, she'll be on main event. Um, I think you put Charlotte on Raw. I think her and Bianca just makes the most sense at some point. I think you dropped her on Monday nights. Okay. All right. Charlotte on Raw. Who do we have left here? Miz, does it even matter? Um, 
Listen, I will say this, though. Well, we'll get to that point in a second. Liv and Raquel, would you move them to Raw? No, I'd keep them on SmackDown because I think you could do Rhea and Raquel, who have history, and I would love to see Liv and Rhea again, personally. But what about okay. you? I'll keep them on SmackDown. All right. Um, Raquel. What about Johnny and Candice? F-I-R-E-D. Um... <laughs> I I see. I feel like they're both their runs have been so bad. Um, they need some rehabbing. I guess. I mean, listen. If you're if you're giving SmackDown Rhea, Becky, um, Dakota, Morgan, Raquel, and Io, I think she should. They should probably stay on Raw. Okay. With Ciampa when he comes back. Sure. I don't know if he'll get drafted because he's hurt, but still. Um. Let's say. All right. Dum, 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 we're gonna have any NXT call ups, or are we just going? No, no, we're gonna do NXT. I'm, I'm gonna get to that. I'm just looking at who's left on like the main roster that actually matters. Um, let's see here. I'm looking. Oh, Oscar. Well, where does Oscar go? You think? SmackDown. SmackDown. Okay. All right. Let's see. Looking at the SmackDown roster, I would keep Strowman and Ricochet as a team. Personally, I would keep them on SmackDown, but that that's just me. I'd keep them as a team. Or on, I, guess, I mean, you have yeah. to have them on the same show. Yeah. Jesus. Fox pulling out the big bucks. Uh, I just feel like they do need a lot just because if Roman's not going to be around, they're going to need more. You no, know, need more baby faces or whatever? Mm, yeah, I'd keep them on SmackDown. Okay. All right. Strowman. Um, Ricochet. Um, who's the other one? Bray Wyatt I would put on Raw if he even comes back. Bray Wyatt, bro. I'm down for that, too. So. All right. I would move both, not that it really matters, but I would move both Nakamura and Karrion Cross to Raw, personally. I mean, if they're going to feud, Nakamura's never been on Raw before. Karrion's run on SmackDown has been abysmal. I mean, why not? If, they go, if Karrion goes back to Raw, does he get the helmet back? <laughs> if Vince is in charge, he might. Yeah, I'd put them both on Raw. All right, Cross... Nakamura. All right. I think that's all the main main picks. I'm just. Oh, what about uh, what about Sheamus and the brawling brutes? I would move them to Raw. All of them. All of them. All right. I mean, I still want Sheamus to be Gunther. I'm not sure if he is gonna at this point, but whatever. He's not over that one yet. No, nah, I'm not over that one either. Ah, uh, Lacey Evans and no, I'm just kidding. What about Ronda Rousey? <laughs> Does it even matter at this point? <laughs> at this point, I don't care. I, um, I mean, keep her with Shayna. I'll put her on Raw. Put her on Raw. SmackDown has enough women. All right, let's talk about these NXT call-ups before I let you go here in a couple minutes. I think Grayson Waller's totally going to one of these shows. I'd put him on Raw. Put him on Raw. All right, and then I would put Miz on SmackDown if you're going to put him on Raw. Uh, where's uh, Do you think Braun Breaker gets called up? I don't think so, because if he's facing Hayes at the next show and, and, and Battleground, probably not yet. I don't think so, but I think which would be a pretty cool idea, which they probably won't do because it makes too much sense. I think, like like you've mentioned in Hashtag, it's like, why wouldn't someone take them? Like, they're obviously up and coming. Yep. But, uh, I think it'd be a cool idea if it's like SmackDown got his rights. Like, SmackDown drafted him, but like he's like... They draft Braun Breaker, but it doesn't mean like immediately he's coming to SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you're telling well, me he's next in line? No, so like they they draft SmackDown, and whenever he's done with NXT or like they need him, they can call him up. No, I know. I'm just kidding. Remember like the whole WWE's next in line program where they draft college athletes and they come in when they're done? Like that's that's kind of what you mean, right? I think yeah. I mean, it's like kind of like what they do in like other sports. Like, oh, you're not ready yet? Like you'll stay down in NXT, and then once we need you, I feel like. That'd be like, they get his rights, so like, once he is ready, he go to SmackDown. I agree with you. I laugh because, you know, they actually did do that once before. Do you know who they did that with? No. Gable Steveson. <laughs> Where has he been? That was a year and a half ago. He's still in school, I guess. Oh, my God. He may not even be coming in anytime soon. It's like, then why even draft them? Stupid. Was, and know. then they took. Then they had that video of him reacting to getting drafted. Like, dude, it's not the NFL draft. Like, let's, let's calm down here. Um... Who else? Cameron Grimes, where he's going. I think he goes to Raw. Raw. <laughs> um, who else? Creed Brothers, maybe? You think they get called up? 
Uh, pretty deadly. I can see oh, oh, pretty deadly. Are they got killed off on Tuesday? <laughs> They're getting called up. That's not even a question. Yeah, I'd put them on SmackDown. All right. Honestly, yeah. I've seen people like pitching them with Rons. I think that honestly would work. So I've seen that too, and oh, I don't whoa, hate whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Do you know what you haven't even thought of? Why would he put Rollins on SmackDown if we think he's going to win the World Heavyweight Championship? Well, then he's not. Well, you, you, according to your logic, Cody's going to win it, so Rollins won't no, win it. No, he's not. <laughs> Cody's not winning anything. His story's dead. Cody, Cody's winning. The, it's either Cody or Rollins. I'm not. <laughs> we're going. We agreed that Cody's going to Raw, so Rollins is not going to the same show as Cody. Okay, so I guess Cody's winning it. Though. Cody's winning it. I don't want that. I don't even want Cody on Raw. You said you said he won him on Raw, so I, I succumb to your okay, desire. Flip him and Cody, then. Flip him and Cody. Oh, my God. But I, don't want, I think Becky should go to SmackDown, though. So then Rollins stays on SmackDown. They can split up. Oh, my God. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm leaving it the way it is. Okay. I think... I, that's the thing, though. Is like, I think Rollins should win the World Heavyweight Championship, but I also think Becky needs to go to SmackDown. I think Cody should beat Roman Reigns. You, we gotta, we gotta switch it here. Either if you want Cody, if you want Rollins to win the, the title, keep it the way it is. Keep it the way it is. All right, all right. We're not gonna. Neither of us are gonna get what we want. Um, Creed Brothers, uh, pretty deadly. Yes, we already mentioned Katana Chance, Caden Carter. I think they're getting called up. Probably the uh, SmackDown, like uh, eh, Raw, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, the tag team division to me is dead. I don't even care. I'll put them on Raw. Chance. Carter. Who else from NXT? Uh, Anyone else? Grayson Waller, we already mentioned. Um, Breaker, Hayes, no, not yet. Breaker, I put down, but. Uh, Roxanne Perez. I'll, I'll put, put her on oh, SmackDown. Yeah, Roxanne. I'd put her on Raw. Raw? We put a thousand people on SmackDown, big guy. Okay, then I'll put Chance and Carter on SmackDown. Oh, yeah, no, no, you're right. You're, no, you know what? Raw needs, more, Raw needs more people. It's a three hour show. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just saying we put Oscar, Liv, Raquel, EO, like Dakota, <laughs> fucking Becky. How much T V time are these people gonna get? <laughs> None, and then we're gonna cry about it on the show. Yeah, I agree. I think that's everyone, right? I think we did it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's I mean, it, pal. I feel like half of these aren't gonna be right, but hey, it's a start. Yeah, it's a it's a start. I'm just quickly going through the NXT roster. Um I think everyone else is staying where they are. Oh, what about uh, uh Dragonoff and Tyler Bate? I don't think Dragonoff gets called up yet. I've heard he, he's he's probably he's probably is, but you know I'm gonna put Bate on SmackDown. Okay, I was gonna say put him on Raw, but yeah. <laughs> I already put Cameron Grimes on Raw. Uh, well, yeah, but if Dragonoff gets called up, I feel like you could put him on Raw and do him and Gunther. Okay, I'll put Grimes on SmackDown. Then we gotta switch one of them. Grimes can go to the FIRED. Hey, yeah. why? I'm surprised that hasn't happened already. Rhymes. All right. Perfect. Those are our rosters. Real quickly, on Raw, we got Cody, Drew. Cody, Drew. Yes, I wrote them twice for some reason. Uh, Bianca, Imperium Theory, Owen, Zane, Prophets, Edge, Logan Paul, Riddle, Orton, Bailey, Charlotte, Gargano, Ciampa, LaRae, Wyatt, Cross, Nakamura, Brutes, Ronda, Shayna Waller, Bate, uh, Chance and Carter, and Perez. SmackDown gets Roman Reigns, Rhea Ripley, Dominic Balor, Damian Uso, Solo, Rollins, Lynch, Bronson, Lashley, New Day, Lesnar, OC, LWO, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, letters here. EO Dakota, Morgan, Raquel, Asuka, Strowman, Ricochet, Miz, Breaker, Pretty Deadly, and Cameron Grimes. Honestly, Not Smith, that sounds nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just stacked the blue brand a little too much. Maybe they won't go with it. They probably won't. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Ben Rollins would probably stay on Raw, but I think Becky should go to SmackDown. I think Cody should go to SmackDown. Yeah, but <laughs> that doesn't change. That doesn't help us at all. He would help him beat Roman. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's life won't be made until <laughs> Cody beats Roman. That is correct. Listen, we'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll talk about the NFL draft a little bit later Honestly, today. I can't wait for Brock to beat Roman. <laughs> 